to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On third down, it's Prescott. And this will be incomplete. Boy, can you believe this? That one probably should have been picked, too. Instead, it's fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. It's been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging it, like, give them a little dab. It's been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. Now Gordon on first down. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiple. You know what I always love about these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his face. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be uh, a sucker. Sucker face. Still on me. Trayvon Diggs, come on, dude. <laughs> Automatic first down for Denver Broncos. Here we go.
long. They'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. It has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today. But on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. Dallas gets set to take the field. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten. Well, they could probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that should not look at all. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. On first and 10, Prescott. Away and incomplete. Amari Cooper is intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Now Prescott. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, 40 yards. And the Cowboys get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. He's been a frequent target, and with catches like that, one-handed in the end zone, I keep going his way. And he's doing it every which way, isn't he? Two hands, and in this case, we just saw it with one hand. Almost reminds me of a great return of service guy in tennis. No matter how you whack it at it, it comes back at you. In this case, he just envelops it and brings it in. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. Touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Takes it at the seven. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And Denver getting set to take the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. First down Broncos as Locke finds Judy. This has to go down one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. 
just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair.